Hi buddies, uh, welcome back to my channel. It is Miss March. So today I wanna to talk about uh, finding the answer to something I've been looking for for a very long time. Um, as you can see, I'm about to go to walk and that's sort of what inspired me to talk about this because I'm probably gonna use this product. Um, it is gorgeous outside today, so I'm very excited. It's like spring has finally sprung. It's sunny, it's warm, lovely. Um, and what I'm gonna talk about is powder or sunscreen, which is something I've been looking for, as I said, for about like five or six years. Um, and it hasn't been that easy to find, at least in a way that was both practical and affordable and that I could actually see myself using. So let me tell you a little bit about my history with sunscreen. So I was born in the mid eighties and as such, I think that like if you were born around that time, like I was, um, we did not do a ton of sunscreen back then. Um, I remember like my parents putting on me like SPF four or SPF eight. Like I still remember the smell of the Hawaiian Tropic um, SPF eight that we had. Uh, but obviously as time has gone by, we have realized that yes, we need to wear a better SPF. And I actually am pretty little chance about my SPF use. Uh, I'm usually wearing some kind of like 30, SPF 30 on my face. If I'm gonna be exposed to the sun, I will put SPF on like whatever will be exposed. I reapply. And part of that is because I'm a hypochondriac. And also part of that is because I do use products that have retinol or acids and things that make your skin more vulnerable to sun damage. And also, because you know, it's good practice. Um, whenever I have, if I can, I'll buy products that already have some kind of SPF to kind of like boost it up. So I'm pretty good at wearing SPF. The problem for me came when uh, sometimes when I would go to work, for example, and maybe I want to go take a walk at lunchtime or I want to take a little break and just go for a walk. And I'm usually wearing some kind of foundation or like for full face of makeup. So it's not like I can just like reapply my SPF really easily and just, you know, go on my day. I would need to like take the makeup off, put the SPF and apply it again, which is sort of what I've been doing now that I'm at home. I'm able to either do that or maybe don't, I am able to go for a walk and then do my makeup because that's where my first meeting is. I'm gonna be seeing people or kind of the opposite. Like I'll have meetings in the morning and then in the afternoon, I know I can just like take the makeup off and put that SPF before I go on a walk. Uh, but when I am actually in the office, that's just not a possibility for me or I guess I could do it, but I just don't want to do it. Um, so, you know, hats are a good way to kind of mitigate that. But I really wanted to find a powder foundation and I knew they existed uh, because also there are some products from like Bare Minerals that had like SPF, but I wanted something that was just like SPF where I could just like touch up. And a couple of years ago, I had actually found some things like that at Sephora in the US, um, but it wasn't great. So what I found was that A, it was very pricey and B, that the packaging is not good. And actually I have seen this type of packaging a lot, even in products here in Canada. Um, I'm gonna grab a regular brush just to kind of explain what they look like. Uh, I'm not, I don't wanna do a ton of editing for this video, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to add a picture. Um, but basically imagine that like you have a brush, right? And then this part of the brush, instead of being like made out of wood, it's actually a container of the powder or sunscreen. And then when you kind of like go like this, it sort of like, you know, falls into the brush and then you kind of like apply it like this and that's how you apply it. However, I have found that to be incredible, imp incredibly impractical. So I mentioned that I used to have one like that from Sephora in the US and it ended up like just opening in my purse and that was a fun thing. Um, both because of the mess, but also because it was extremely pricey. And actually I found some good examples, no examples about it, wood products like that, or some products like that, um, that are available for purchase here in Canada. And uh, you can't read the reviews without finding one that talks about how cumbersome and how difficult to use is that type of packaging. Uh, they're also going to be really pricey. The only one that I found in that same like container uh, that was a pricey was the Derma E. I think it's called Derma E uh, brand. Um, but that one was like out of stock everywhere. So I'm looking and I'm trying to find something. And then I found this product, which is this baby over here. Um, that is the Physician's Formula. There we go. 
It's the Physician's Formula Transless uh, Airbrushing Press Powder Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And this one was about, I paid maybe $17. It was on sale because it has like, it expires at the end of the summer. Um, but it was around $20 off you know, without the sale. And as you know, we've talked about my pharmacies are pretty pricey. Like I'm sure if you go somewhere else, you might find it for cheaper. Um, so it comes like this. Um, I just realized that the brush is all the way there. So you will have to forgive me. There we go. Um, and I was actually pretty impressed because it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. It comes like this. Um, the color that I bought is called translucent. Um, and I was hoping it would be like truly translucent. It's not, it does have some color. It does some color correcting when you put it on. Um, and they also had a color called creamy. They were both pretty light. So I don't know what they would look like on a dark and dark, on a darker skin tone. However, uh, some of the things that I, uh, the reason why I like it is number one is the packaging. It's less likely to um, explode in my purse which I like, um, it goes in pretty nicely. And I have to say, um, it says that it's supposed to like smooth and like some imperfections. And I actually found that, you know, if you're wearing, if you just put it on the skin without anything, it doesn't do it as much. But if you do have like a bit of a base uh, before you do it on some primer, it actually does like a nice job of smoothing your face. Um, it comes like this. And then it comes with a little brush. Ooh, have our little brush and a mirror. Look at that. Um, so I saw that for seventeen dollars, it was really worth the try. It's a mineral sunscreen. It's titanium oxide and I think zinc oxide. Um, let's mix off the two. So I've been getting a try. It looks nice. I put it on top of makeup and it was fine. Um, I like that it also like helps like because it's mineral. And some mineral powder absorbs some oiliness that may be going on particularly for summer but i really like this idea of being able to just you know like touch up my makeup or not touch up my makeup but just put it on top of my makeup and not worry about having to take it off and take it on especially as we are spending more time outdoors um i feel like it's a really really good product to kind of have in your purse and just touch up the one thing i will say that I don't love is the actual brush. It's not that I don't love it. I just don't find that it's the best brush for this because it's very dense. Oh, right. It's very dense, but it's like one line. So you kind of have to go like, like this. So I've been applying it with more like a fluffier brush like this from a rounder brush. Um, and you can still see that you have applied it. So it's, you know, if I were to go like that. You can still like see when you're putting in, but you gotta have to go heavy handed with it because you wanna make sure that you're covering everything. Um, so I've been using something like this, but if you have, wanna have something like this in your, like like the small one, just, you know, with it in your purse, just to make sure that you have something to apply it, that's totally fine. Um, I mean, just put it like in a little baggie with a fluffier brow or, or a rounder brush, but that's my only sort of like criticism other than definitely the shade range. Um, I would like to see how it looks in like darker skin tones because for me, translucent should be really translucent. Um, this feels more like something for someone whose skin is translucent than the actual, um, color of the powder, but it is a mineral sunscreen. Um, I would not just go with this only with this. I would definitely like make sure that, you know, you do put sunscreen on, especially at the beginning of the day that you go with something that has like a a chemical sunscreen um and then you or like a physical sunscreen that you kind of like you apply with you know a liquid kind of thing um and then go with this for something like a touch up or going on a walk or anything like that um i do find them to be find it to be actually be pretty useful it looks good on the skin um and you just add uh, like adds a little bit of more protection um making sure that your skin remains youthful and not irritated um, or anything like that. And also, you know, if your skin is very, 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 very pale, maybe also just put on a hat. Uh, but yeah, so this has been a very short video um, to tell you about this product that I found that I have been looking for for a very, very long time. I'm hoping that it will be good. I'm hoping that I will be able to kind of like use it this summer. Um, and I know 
hopefully they'll continue to sell it. I'm always so afraid that these things are just gonna, you know, be out of stock, especially here in Canada. Um, sometimes things are a little harder to find. I so wish we had Ulta, cause like, I feel like all of this, could, you could just buy it at Ulta, uh, but it's not the case for us and we kind of have to go. So I bought this ones at Pharma Brie or like Shoppers, um, but I didn't see that like a Jacques for example. Um, so it's not that you can find everything everywhere. And that's on the Canadian beauty market. Um, I just realized how messy that is. I'm so sorry about that. Um, anyway, that has been all for today. I'm going to go on my walk. Uh, if you are having nice weather where you are, I hope that you are wearing a lot of SPF. Um, and that you are protecting yourself from the sun. And you're also making sure that you are protecting yourself from COVID. Wear your mask. Um, stay away from crowds and all that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you know about any other, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yes, yeah, so if you know about any other um, powder foundation that you want to share with me. Um, and I will see you very soon in another video. Um, if I'm publishing this on the 9th, which I'm kind of hoping I will, uh, then uh, happy uh, beginning of the Sephora sale for Rouge members. Um, and yeah, that's all. I'll see you very soon. Bye.